Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory More, a death store tonight. <clears throat> last time we got the last of our uh, ability upgrades. We found a big old fuck-off sword, which is our new favorite weapon. Uh, we found lots of, lots of shiny things. In fact, you can see our workspace here at our desk is uh, getting rather crowded. Um, and we got the last giant soul, too. We went and beat up a, a yeti, I guess. Um, so we're about to move into endgame, presumably. We've just got to go back to... Uh, titular death store, go talk to that old dumbass crow dude and and see what else we got to do yet. Uh, that feels like it's going to be the last major thing. So why don't we just quickly do that and then after we do like whole credit scroll thing we can come back in and see what other stuff we can uh, we can track down here. We've got to find our way over there. <coughs> got to find our way over to wherever the old crow was uh, to begin with. Um, I don't remember where he was. I think we just keep kind of keep walking around to the upper right until we find the right path. I think we, yeah, because last time we tried to finally murder Steadhone here, and it's just unmurderable, apparently. Uh, I think we just kind of walk down around this way, I think. Either way, we're pretty close. We're pretty close, we think. Yeah, all right, here we are, here we are, here we are. <clears throat> so my presumption is that there's gonna be like another area at this point once we go through the door, but I guess we'll find out pretty soon, won't we? We did it, we're a much stronger Reaper, yeah. We sure are, even after getting clocked in the back of the head at the start of this, yeah. <clears throat> It's time, at long last. Let's force this door open. Finish our assignments. Okay. Sure. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do here. Three giant souls. We're, we're, we're making a real big assumption here that this is gonna work. Two. Three. Oh, that's convenient. It's convenient that it did work. Apparently. So, uh, if it wanted a fourth one... <laughs> If it wanted a fourth giant soul, we'd be kind of like all big shrug and, uh... ah. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, let's go. Let's go let's trudge into the unknown and, and do this. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. <clears throat> oh, gasp. Beyond Dust Door, it's just whiteness, huh? The place beyond where no life is to be seen, huh? I guess that, that tracks. Hello? Who the fuck, who the fuck was that? Who, who goes there? Ah, it's, it's the Grim Reaper. Perfect. Uh, hi. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Death. <laughs> hey, Death, I thought the tales of originally were just mad ramblings, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, I guess that's me. <laughs> Man, even Death looks depressed. What the hell? <clears throat> you know, I was real. That means you're not here to rescue me, huh? Uh, I guess we can do that whilst we're here, huh? He might be able to help us. Uh, <laughs> wow, rude. <laughs> Alright, I mean, he wants a few more minutes after several centuries. Oh, shit. How are you here? Actually, how'd you even get here? Well, the thing about that is we murdered three giant things, got their souls, and, and broke open Death's door, I guess. The souls that passed through Death's uh, your door. Lol. Service bound reapers. Carry those souls to finish our task and restore our statue with the commission, otherwise, we will die. Oh, awkward. Looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Ain't nobody got souls around here. Absorbed into the ether. Alright. It's to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job was so important. Not that the living didn't hate me for it. Aw, poor death. Misunderstood. Go around reaping souls myself, then pick them up and take them beyond the veil. Okay. That's so depressing. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can, I can get that. For souls, they don't care. For the living ones they left behind, yeah. Could let them know that dying isn't scary, it's just a cycle of life. Aww. Guess that's true, huh? And the over the vastness of time, I got very tired. Then one day, a strange being came to me with a proposition. Create portals, doors, in any place or world. Yeah, I mean, they're the lords of doors, right? After outsource the collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. Souls open and draw in the souls of the dead. 
Lighthouse on the shores of Ether, okay. Uh -huh. In return for this, they ask for their lives to be extended. Okay. It's, it's a, kind of a poor deal, if you ask me. Actually, they ask for immortality, but that's impossible. So they'll stick around too long, and there's nothing left to tie the mortality to decay into demonic forms. All life must end. <laughs> well, eventually. Alright. Getting the big old lore drop at the end here. I kicked back several generations of self-proclaimed lords. The doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives. Run agreeing in the end to submit to the limitations and go willingly, yada yada yada. Except for this last fucker, right? <laughs> okay. You know, what should have been their lifespan, your lord betrayed our long-standing agreement and said there'd be some kind of incident. There had been some kind of incident. Door had malfunctioned, need to be remade. Door to be reconstructed required the touch of death to link the door to the ether. Okay. <clears throat> After this new door is created and open, the Lord kicked me inside and sealed the shut. Oh man, you got double cross there, death. We escape escaped, no way for stray souls to pass on, no death among the living, etc., etc. I mean, when you put it that way, I guess we're here to rescue death, huh? You're alone ever since. Oof, that is deeply depressing. Bender here somehow, are you sure you haven't seen it? Sorry, guy. Soul comes in here without a body. It disappears. Didn't you? Weren't you listening in the last five minutes? Everything that begins has to end. Okay. Yep. 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 No hope. Must be still be here, dude. Gray Crow, have you not been listening? <laughs> uh, are we gonna have to kill a Gray Crow? You know what? That's that's fine. He's kind of had it coming for a while. Oh yeah. Yeah. You, we're definitely gonna have to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta kill him. Oh. <laughs> You're a little bit past your best before day. Okay. Yep. Yep. We're gonna, we're gonna have to kill him. Alright. Let's go. We got our big fuck off sword for a reason here. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Excuse me. Wow. They just really throw you in. Yeah. Eat shit, idiot. Alright. Uh, we need bombs, probably. Bonk. Oh. Well. Oh, I see. Whoa. Oh, where are you going there, buddy? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoop, excuse me. Whoa, oh boy. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna avoid all that. Oh, don't. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I think we might be uh, getting murdered this first time. Hi, you little bitch. Yeah, you like that, you little shit. You don't, I bet, huh? Oh, yep. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> uh, mm. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I guess that one's my fault. Ow. That one was kind of not my fault. Ow. All right. That one was. Big fat hitbox there.
Excuse me. Bonk. Eat shit, Grey Crow. Do I get your big ass giant soul now, too? Is that gonna give me enough soldiers for another upgrade? <laughs> And then Death's just chilling out. He's just like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> Appreciate something till it's gone, do you? Yeah, true enough. Huh? Hey, Lord of Doors, like me. I've never thought it apply to me. All right, about your big feather. Hey, you do oh, no, no, no. He wasn't our friend. He fucking cold cocked us, stole our soul kill, and then consigned us to hunting down the other giant souls and shit. So, no, he's not our friend. You're more of a rough one having to reap him yourself. I don't know, that felt pretty good. <laughs> it's not over yet. Of course it isn't. Swallow door has been destroyed. The power is unfortunately still trapped in its remains. I heard a piece of my own soul, and I need it back where you can do your job. Alright. In the end of the cycle, someone else has to take down the Lord of Doors. Let me guess. I'm the fucker who's gonna go kill the other fucker and end the cycle, alright? Back your office and reap your boss's soul. <gasps> Do I dare live out the American dream? <laughs> uh, death is on your side. Hell yeah, it is. You know what, Death? You're all right. Fantastic. Time to go kill my boss. <laughs> That's awesome. I like it. I like it. All right. Where's the ne Where's the nearest door? Where's the nearest door? There was one just past uh, Steadhone here, right? Where the heck he was? Yeah, I might have gone the wrong way. Okay, all right, yeah, I remember crossing, well, maybe not this bridge, but we're crossing a bridge. I suppose if this takes me to one of the other areas, it's probably fine, too. Oh, there's one, okay. That one will work. It does look like we have enough soul juice to, uh, <clears throat> to get another upgrade before we, uh, ah, uh, no! Okay. Oh, cool! Our other, our other friends have been gathering already. That's cool. Right at a moment foretold long ago. Today, death's door has been opened. Death themselves have been freed. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that was that was us. Hi, we did that. No, this is not the end of days. It's the beginning of a bright new future. Of course, the life and death went under the throne of chaos. Yada yada yada. Time to undo our mistakes, I guess. Yeah, right or wrong. Sorry, that works too. Accept our fates. Must reject those who lead us into the future with no hope. <coughs> Lord of Doors reign to end for us to return to a natural life cycle. We miss our world treaties on the edge, blah, 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 blah. A new age will begin. The world will teem with new life. And the final hours is foretold Davis play out as a Dane. The crow of the freed death will have to end the Lord of Doors reign. Hello. Yes, that's me. Hi, it me. Crow with big fuck off sword. Awesome. You know, I'm going to feel kind of bad for doing this since uh, Lord of Doors current generation uh, gave us the old attaboy before, like real early on. But, you know, if you gotta you gotta murder someone, you gotta murder someone, I guess. That's how, that's how it goes. Alright. I did look it up. The, the Chivo is having ten of these dudes following me around, so uh, try to find five more of them. Which might be tougher to do than one might expect, right? Because it's just those five in the main area. Oh, I know there's three. Oh, there's three bugging the uh, shit out of the, um, the mall cop dude, though, too, so. Oh, we go see what we can do down there. This way. It's on the 
way in, right? Yeah, there we go. Aw, oh, except these new ones are not gonna follow me. They're just kinda hanging around. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, nice, because it scanned one of the dudes. <laughs> so I popped the Chivo for uh, getting through that without triggering the alarm, that's funny. Okay, well, we'll do the other part of it later, I guess. Um, all right, well, let's talk to everybody before we go. Death and rebirth, Donic prospect, I think everyone here sick as this world has become. New world, new start. I wonder if there will be new TV shows. Yeah, maybe. I feel like the whole world is crawling beneath my feet. Someone else would feel hopeful for the first time in forever. Yeah. I don't have to work so hard anymore. Well, you could have worked less hard before, man. Like, the only one doing that was you. Don't blame everybody else for that. <laughs> you complete your task, old friend. Have faith in yourself. Aw. Very kind. Uh, I guess we're all gonna be out of our jobs soon, huh? I can be free of the rat race. Never want to be a reaper, you know? It's just a matter of necessity. <clears throat> I wonder what I could do next. Finishing your job without getting killed in the process. Well, you know, as Death once said like two minutes ago, Death is on my side. We'll be fine, I'm sure. Seems the world is ending. I really hope I can find a new job. Just love typing. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, you know, enjoy what you enjoy, I suppose. All right, I would like to upgrade my shit, please. Uh, we've got 900 soul juices. I guess it's just gonna be magic that we can afford, all right? Well, that's good enough, I guess. <clears throat> all right, time to go face off against the big man, I guess. Uh, the big dude at the top. The one who's been presumably doing bad things. It's a pretty sick door, though. Like, say what you want about the Lord of Doors, but this door is pretty cool. And also very large. Alright, we're here. That looks like critical path up here, so let's go over here first. Oh, well there's the bus we took to get here, right? Oh, what the hell? All this, why, why would they put something like this down here? What's the, what's the purpose? I mean, it looks nice, but the purpose of that is otherwise. All right, fine. Let's go up and murder the Lord of Doors. All right, buddy, the jig is up. I really thought it would come to this. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> I'm kind of created by Lord Proceeding and trying to take over their duties. Yada yada. And don't we are told the day on which we'll die. Hmm. That kind of stinks, doesn't it? I mean, I guess you can plan around it and such, but. Friend sister and creator is a cold-hearted tyrant. Such the rules and order how things had to be. I mean, gave you a name. Can you believe that? I mean, that means you can pick your own name, you idiot. <clears throat> your life play out if you knew the exact day you were going to die. I don't know. I just asked that. One of your existence revolved around its ending. Well, I mean, that's your choice to make it that way, buddy. Got nobody to blame but yourself. Do everything in my power to save myself. Well, that's very selfish. No wonder you're an asshole. <laughs> no, my actions are not entirely moral. Perhaps not even justifiable. Correct! I cannot just let myself die. I refuse to go without a fight. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fair, I guess. So, young crow, will you fight me? Yes, I fucking will. Hell yeah, I am. Look, look at the big fuck-off sword I got strewn across my back. I'm ready to fight. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, you're not really that good at fighting, are you? Here, have a bomb. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Don't say anything about uh, doors here. Ah, you coward, get back here. Hey, if you want to fight, let's fight. Don't you be running off, little shit. Come here. Oh, oh. Okay. All right, can I use this to, no, I can't. <laughs> All right, he's gonna make me chase him forever in a day here. Huh? Ow. Well. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> Death, right? Yeah.
All right, all right, let's go. No more messing around. Yeah, I can hit him. Oh, what? <laughs> Whoops. Coward, get over here. Oh, all right, punch. Coward. With the generous checkpointing of the rest of the game, I'm guessing we're going to start at that phase, right? Oh no, it starts me all the way back here. That's kind of silly. Oh. hits really count, do they? Probably not. Getting real cracked up there, though, so uh, we're getting close. Ah, really? Oh. 
Oh, well. <laughs> that first step. Oh. <laughs> mm. So we can't be quite as aggressive. That's unfortunate. Because I do like to be aggressive. buddy. back out front. Fucking coward. <clears throat> Make us kill our boss at work here, aren't we? You know what? I'm okay with that. Let's go. Let's go, you little shit. Are we here? Well, because you ran away like a big old coward. Why do you exist? I don't know. Can't answer that one. You can say things over and over to what end? Yada yada. yada. <clears throat> What's the point? Well, we have to. We all have to die eventually. I mean, that's uh, that's a good question. Don't know. 
I suppose I'll never know. That's right, you'll never know, because I'm going to kill you right here. So I will never die. Ah, 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 yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, what you doing? Oh no, he's taking all the souls we turned in for our sick-ass upgrades. Hey, that's not fair. Cheating little bastard. The last lord. Hell yeah, he's the last lord, because I'm going to kill him. <laughs> all right, let's go. Yep. Yep. Ow! Jeez, turn around. Oh boy! Got a big laser and those dudes chasing me down? That doesn't seem fair. Oh, oh, the turnaround backhand. Oh, man. Well, presumably, it's going to start me right at that phase. That would be good. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, all right. Whoa, whoa. Starting off with that, huh? Off. Probably should have moved. <laughs> hey, there we go. Oh, well. Yeah, no turn around backhand for you that time, bitch. <laughs> Ooh, what she got there? Oh, I can mash out of that frozen state. I didn't realize that. Come on, really? It's the hit on the back. Oh, he was real cracked up there. Okay, okay. You know what? That's fine. It's fine. If he wants to prolong his own death, that's, that's cool with me. His choice. Ah, jackass. <laughs> Ow! Hey! A-hole? Ah. Buddy, ah! <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. Oh, boy. Uh, I don't remember him doing that whole charge thing before. Actually, wait, should I be shoving a, a bomb into that soul gate up there, maybe? 
seems like a the thing to do, huh? Let's see if it works. Ah, oh, no, it's the counter. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, that's fine. We're just, uh, just sussing out his patterns here. That's fine. That's fine. It's getting angry though, it's getting faster. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, oh. oh, I still got one more health. <laughs> oh, excuse me, buddy. <laughs> killer hookshot finisher there too. Bonk. <laughs> Alright, what are we thinking here? Please don't kill me or please make it quick. Ah, forgive me. Okay, that's a solid third choice, I guess. Bzz. Bonk. <laughs> Eat shit, you dumb lord of doors. That's what you get. Oh, we only get 500 soul juice for that? Boo. Oh, now I bet we can kill uh, Steadhone now, because death is back, right? Hell yeah. Mysterious leader. Uh-huh. To others. <laughs> Dark cloud looming over the world. My desire to be greater than their creator. Well, and the desire to live forever, apparently, so, you know, whatever what are you gonna do. They remembered for their part in the advancement of door technology. <laughs> they maintain order in a dying world. I don't know if I'd call it order, necessarily, but okay. Unwavering determination to evade death. There we go. Matter the cost. But we did it! We murdered the Lord of Doors. And we got Death's power back to him, right? Well, to leave is di deeply ingrained. Yeah, of course it is. Who's to say what any of us would have done given the same choices as this Lord? I don't know. Who knows? And remember, say your last respects. Eh. Time in this world is over. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck you, Lord of Doors. <laughs> there we go. We did done do the thing, I think. If 
That'll drop. Credits roll. We did it. <laughs> well, good. Good game. Good game. Very fun and very pretty. Settlement is now at peace again. That's adorable. And all the crows are living free. That's great. That's good. Oh, and what's his nuts? Pothead. Pothead's hanging out. Oh, and we're there too, apparently. I didn't see that. We can't actually move during this. Okay, good. It's like, uh. Good job, everybody. You made a good game. It was fun, and we got to yell at a lot of different people, so I'm happy. Well, good. Now we get to go back in and see if we can track down a few other last things here. I doubt we're going to be able to track down all of the shiny things, since I think we have more than half of them to go. But, uh... Oh, well, there's a shiny thing right there, right? <laughs> Steadhome just fucking dragging the corpse off unceremoniously. I like that. So where do they start us back here? Uh... Oh, I sort of see. Okay, so this is where the, uh... Free crows were right. Well done. Never doubted you for a second. Take some time for the world to heal in order for nature to be restored. Crows will aid the process in any way we can. Cool. <clears throat> seven shrines yet to find. Yep. I don't know where we'd find seven of them though. I thought we were fairly thorough on our first go through here, but. All right. One, two, three, four. There's five. I can impress a fee that, taking out the boss, and hope our lives don't end up worse as a result of all the chaos. Well, I mean, we'll find out, won't we? Hold on, foretold crow, we knew you could do it. Always have a home here. Aww. My favorite typewriter with me when you abandoned the hall door. I can't imagine my life. Sure is heavy. Well, of course it is. Anyway, from the hall doors before the boss showed up. It's weird, this crow's always seen to know what's coming next. Kinda gets my cards in this tingling. Well, Comes from their shrine to a higher power. Makes you wonder. I guess it kind of does, yeah. I guess it kind of does, doesn't it? So I change is important to them to guidance from the gate of knowledge. Yeah. Big old door looking stone thing. Yep. Okay, good, but the quick warp uh, <clears throat> doors are still here, so that's good. 
Um, we know there's a shiny thing back at the... Back at the commission, right? Oh, and it even probably tells me, like, hey, you completed everything in these areas. That's kind of cool. I like that. So we did a pretty good... I'm, I'm just assuming what those auras mean, to be honest with you. Unless the auras mean we're missing something, and then the non-auras mean we got everything. Could be anything at this point, really. But I think we know talking to whatever weird squid human dude, right? Told us where to find extra shit. Rusty bell tower key. Hey, we know where that goes. I actually do know where that goes. Uh, that's down near the entrance to uh, Urnwitch's thing, right? I think. Let's see. Let's go to... Uh... I think this one, right? And we can head out. Oh. I guess while we're here, we can check out a few things, right? Now that we can get in here. seed yet. There's like probably a couple dozen of those we haven't found. Which, you know, whatever. Fair enough. We don't really have any use for them anymore. Oh, well, three soldiers at the very least. Nice. there, too. Okay. Well, I know where to use that rusty key we picked up, but since we are still eyeballing things in this area, we might as well just check it out first, huh? Yep, yeah, because there's soul juice up there. We gotta go all the way around there. Okay. We have, I think we could have gotten this real early on had we known about this gap here, I guess, right? So we weren't paying enough attention on would have been the, the first night we played this, I guess, last week, Monday. Amazing how far we've come in such a short amount of time. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Now we've got the hook shot, we can do this. Soul juice here. Okay. Guess there's a way to get over there too, huh? Yeah, it must be. Alright. <clears throat> Aha! Yep. Bonk bonk there, no other gaps. Oops. Alright, yeah, the big fuck off sword was definitely my favorite weapon stands to reason why we got it the last the last go of things right Cause it's so strong Here. Ah! More free soldiers. Excellent. 
Oh, and another fight. <laughs> Ooh, bonk. God, our attack range is so high we can uh, destroy the, um, <laughs> the explosive dudes without having to worry. We'll take that one on the chin, it's fine. Some juice there, too. Ah, I see. Oh, it's a shiny thing. <laughs> Sludge filled urn. Mm mm mm. the gate there. Is that going to lead us to the other side where we can get that soul juice now? Oh, so we just go over there. Oh, that's neat. Oh, but what about this, though? Ah. Explodey bit. Right. So there's that one, and then there was the one along the shore. And now, the actual reason why we came through this door in particular, just gotta get out of this area first. So then we got caught up with that little bit there, right? I think realistically, I just wanna exit this area normally, and then we should be right near where we wanna use the key. And then on our way through, we can murder Steadhone, presumably, right? Now that death is uh, is in play here. Is there something over here? Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Let's see the seed that we got. It's terribly useful. This is one of the um, ability upgrade things, I think. This go. I think this just loops around to the other side that we needed to do to get places, right? then pops out here, and then I think the rusty gate is over here. Yeah, alright, so it's a relatively quick roundabout way to get over here. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, I see. We can change uh, Day to night and back again. That's interesting. All right. Well, there's one thing that we need to do in the moonlight, right? There's that whole thing where there was that there was the plaque that read like something something buried under moonlight or something, right? Hello. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, err. Uh, friend. I mean, sort of. I can't talk to him at all. Oh, it looks like, like, one of the ghosts of the Lord of Doors or something. I wonder who that is. What we're supposed to do. We're we supposed to lure him back to, uh... To, like, his grave or something? We gotta get over there. 
Oh, there's two of them. What the? Okay. All right, where do you fuckers want to go here? Actually, I have a pretty good idea on where they need to go. Over there. But I don't know that we can get over there. Can we? From here? Hmm. I get over that way, but... Uh, okay, well, maybe we got... Well, there's three of them. Okay, so we got to probably collect all of them, huh? going on there. Oh, yeah, there's one. Okay. Uh, cool, I guess. I don't remember seeing that statue here before. But all right, there's one. Okay. There's another one we can collect on our way through. No, oh, no, no, no. Hey, buddy, keep following us. He would be a little bit faster. Alright, yeah, trying to look around for more of those dumb statues. They don't not particularly stand out, are they? But I guess that was the whole point of having that one kind of on our path anyways, right? To tell us, hey, you need to do it this way. There's an explodey thing here. If we go in here, will this dude stop following us? I guess we'll find out. Oh, soul juice. Very good. Okay, no, good. He was out here waiting for us. Very good. How many of you fuckers are there? Oh, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus. All right. Well, I don't know where all 70 you fucks are going to go, but I guess we'll have a poke around here, huh? Oh, there's one down there. Should light up the two there. Very good. Okay. There's something to do with these two towers as well. So there's that one over there which said, Oh, there's a twin and there's something important in them or something. Well, let's just remember to come back for that, I guess. <sighs> so, let's go to go out. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. It's just a dude we're going to have to fight. Whoa, hey, look out for that guy. I get 12 soul juices for that? Mm. Seems a little stingy. There's gotta be one of the empty statues down here, right? No? Hmm. Wild. Okay, that's three of the seven, right? Although that was probably for this dude here. 
I have to drag him all over Dodge looking for another one. Although maybe there's only four in this area and then we move to another area. That would be that would be nice, because I don't think this area is quite large enough to play host to seven of these weird key lord door statue things. Okay, we're getting close to where Steadhone is too, so I'll have to give him a, a quick visit at some point. And this is where Death's Door would have been, right? That platform is entirely gone. That's where we came up, right? Okay, there's another one over there. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go around this way. Ah, so here's where we started out, right? Steadhone should have been out here. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's asleep. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't really sleep anymore. I lie here each night wondering how it feels to no longer be living. If, I, if we were dead, would we even know? That's a good-ass question. Although, get out your grave so I can try to kill you. Since death is hanging around again. Come on, man. You have to go turn it daytime? Probably. You have to go turn it daytime again. But I hope that doesn't reset our progress with the whole statue bit. Oh, there's another one down there, too. Okay. There's one just outside of, uh, Steadhone's abode here. Find another ghost that wants to go. Oh, hey, there we go. Hey, buddy. Wanna come with me? Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, how do I get down over around there, though? Uh, that's a good-ass question, since I can't go up that way. Maybe I want to go actually go back down. Man, this better be worth it. They better, like, give me double damage or something. Maybe an ability to jump. Oh yeah, they're just curved up here. <laughs> Alright, there's five, right? Oh, there's another one there. Okay, six. And then there's seven. Okay, well we found where they need to go. Oh, cool. And that dude's just sitting right there. I hope this isn't like a time limit thing. That would be silly. Is that going to be all of them? Uh, okay, it's like, uh, something going to happen? Perfect. Alright, well that, good. That wasn't as obnoxious as I thought it was going to be. Now we got to get over there, wherever the fuck that was. Just keep going down and to the left until we get there. Oh, because this is the initial door in. Alright, I have to go up to the left then. I need to get up to that uh, bridge again. I will say that it's been kind of remarkable 
despite not having a map of any description, we've been able to more or less successfully navigate around. It's good design, is what it is. I think I would have preferred to have had a map, just in case, but you know, we may do without. Uh, yeah, because I need to get across over there. Damn it, I'll go up and around. Places are just unique enough looking that we can kind of judge where we are. And it helped that we didn't, like, wait a week or two be between uh, plays of this either. Fresh in the mind and all that. I say as I stumble around looking for that big-ass soul door. Uh... And there's the other tower that we gotta look into as well, eventually. Okay, that's where we came out from the Urnwitch's place, right? That's where one of the shrines were. Oh, no, we didn't want to come down all the way around here, did we? Oh, uh... Let's fight this fucker right away. Yep. Yeah. That's like 30 soul juices or something? 50 soul juices! Wow, that's a lot of soul juices. And did we even need to come around this way? That was the big ass question. Probably not. No, because we want to be, like, on the sort of the southwestern shoreline. Yeah, because this would have led to here. Dough. Hmm. I feel like it was pretty close by to where we uh, found one of the weird lockhead ghosts here. Like, almost up there, but just, like, a little bit further around. Let's go back. We came up here, right? Kinda muddled around a bit until we found where the uh, where the rusted key would go. It was up there somewhere, right? So then we muddled around a bit down here, found a couple of ghosts, stumbled stumbled into where we needed to put them. A little bit. Uh... Well, I don't know if this was the correct side of the waterfall to be on, was it? Might have been. That's another one of the things. It might have actually it might have been down here. Eh? Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. Now we get to see what our uh, what our chore has earned us here. Shiny thing? An ancient tablet of knowledge. Really? Is that just considered a shiny thing, though? Uh, no, it's not listed under shiny things. That's interesting. So, where's the ancient tablet of knowledge? <laughs> I mean, where did that toddle off to now? Hmm. Can we put it back? Can't put it back. Alright, well cool. We got the uh, 
Ancient tablet of knowledge after escorting seven weird ghosts back to their statues. That's cool, I guess. Good, good for us. Real ancient tablet of knowledge is the friends we made along the way. You know, you're probably not wrong. That does sound like it would be ancient knowledge, right? That would be a, like a weird ass improve thyself quest of self-discovery somebody would send you on, right? And you'd go back to him and say, what the hell, man? I thought this was going to be like an, an interesting thing to do so I could like get stronger or something. I'd be like, yeah, well, you are stronger. You got friends now. You'd be like, oh, you're right. <laughs> it would definitely be something like that, wouldn't it? Uh, okay. Um... All right, here's one of the towers I wanted to look at, right? Simple structure has a twin. A hidden secret lies within. Okay, yeah, we, we knew that, right? Now we just gotta find where that second one is. I think it was down around this way. And also we gotta turn it back to daytime and go probably kill Steadholm. But I think we can do two things at once, probably. We should be closer to the... Um, the uh, weird bell, which will change the daytime here, right? Uh, oh no, except we were... Uh, which way did I want to go? I wanted to go around here. Or no. Wait, this wasn't to uh, the Urnwitch's place, was it? This might have been the, um, the Yeti area. Yeah, or the um, other place. Yeah, okay, so that I, I got turned around. I got turned around as to where we were headed to there, but that's not correct, so away we go. Oh, that's just going to take me back to the temple thing. Oof. Alright, I really would like a faster bit of travel than just walking around and, and or going through those doors. Some sort of instant warp from the menu would have been fine and cool. Even if they had just reserved it for, like, post-endgame stuff, that would have been alright. But, whatever, I guess it's fine. It's, this is pretty enough that I don't mind walking around a bit. Having a look around. Alright, here we are, right? This will take me up near the platform, and then... Yeah, and then that's already up this area. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get rid of this eerie ass sort of partial wind here. Bong. And now everything's bright and sunshiny. And we get some music. Okay, uh, I gotta find where that other tower is now. I think it's. Oh, and we gotta go bother Steadhone for a bit too. Hey, Steadhone, you wanna die? You were just, uh. Just talking to us about that last night. Like a minute ago, so. I assume yes. Lost a dear friend long ago and buried him under the moon's light. Yeah, okay. So this was the thing, right? <clears throat> Since the day I've held a piece of myself lost, I'm afraid I ever feel whole again. Eh? No, oh, he still doesn't die? Oh, stay at home. You beefy ass motherfucker. All right, buried under the moonlight. So okay, we're gonna have to turn it back to uh, to nighttime again and go and go poke around. Cause I vaguely remember where that uh, moon seal was. I think it was on the approach up to the the Free Crow Village, right? I think the other tower should have been around here somewhere as well. So I thought it was really nearby here? Yeah, because it was like... Across this bridge... Maybe it wasn't down quite this far. <coughs> it wasn't down that far, because that goes to the other... Um, the frogs area, right? And we don't want to go to Frog's area. Frog's area is stupid. 
Or it was stupid when the frog was still around. Uh, uh, I feel like the tower is close by here. There it is. Okay. Ouch. Ha! Bonk. Undying Blossom. Stagnanora is telling of the strange state of this island. Okay, I think that's probably all they were referring to with, Oh, it hides a secret! Blah, blah, blah. The secret was turning the camera! Okay. Yeah, so I think that one's probably taken care of. So now I think what I want to do is, uh, how much soldiers do we have? 1,400. That's a lot of soldiers. Probably good for another upgrade. I think we just need to head back to the, um, Crow Village and talk to What's-His-Nuts. Be like, hey, I know the game's over, but give me upgrades. Uh, but before we do that, I want to turn it back to nighttime. Let's see if we can waddle our way back over to the Crow Village and see if that moon seal is where I think it is. Actually, no, this goes back over to the initial entrance to the area, doesn't it? Stead Hoenn, which is kind of where we want to be anyway. Alright, so then there's this big door into the mausoleum. Right? And there's looks to be six indents on there. I'm sure that's going to mean something later. But for now, we can't be arsed to care about it. Where's that? This way the Iron Witch's Mansion. We don't want to go there just yet. We want to do whole day-night switch thing. Alright. Oh. Seriously, we simply need to visit that giant hole he dug up while it's nighttime. You mean the one next to his... where he hangs out? He was, um... He was laying down in it. <laughs> like, we can go check, right? So he was laying down in it right here. He's just having a... having an old snooze. And he's just like, yeah, I wonder what it's like to be dead. And he's like, oh, well, I guess I'll never know, because I can't die. And I'll be like, you know what, buddy? We're going to do this for you. We're going to make sure that you can die. Uh, but he was talking about burying under moonlight, etc., etc. So now I want to go back kind of along the path to where the free crows are. I think there was a... There was a moon symbol somewhere around there. So I think that's what it is. But... Uh, stranded sailor. Here we go. Yep, yeah, this is the path we want. So we can find out if that moon's uh, where I think it is, or if my memory's a ding dang darn old liar. Um, which is entirely possible and almost certainly probable. But I feel like it was up to. It was like on the approach up the mountain. Either directly before. The Free Crow Village thing, or possibly right after. Um, but I guess we'll see, first of all, if this uh, day-night cycle persists. It does seem kind of spooky here, so I think it does. Plus, we can always talk to What's-His-Nuts, because I think he was, like, the the hint-giver-outer, telling you where to find stuff. Oh yeah, it's nighttime. Pothead is uh, having a little snooze, too. I wonder if that means we're going to find different shit all the way around here. That would be cool. Uh, is the uh, stranded sailor closed here? 
Everybody's just kind of passed out. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah! I was wondering what that big ass fishbowl was for. <laughs> Teddy? Teddy? Is that you? Oh, oh no! Caught his that two-legged trousers down. Yes, that's right, I'm not as humanoid. Yeah, I know that. Like when you're puppeteering a corpse, it's pretty obvious there, buddy. Don't tell the others. Perhaps it can be our secret, though. I hope you're better at keeping secrets than I am. Anyway, keep this between us and I can show you the biggest secret of all. Whoa, jeez. Ah! <laughs> uh, no, not yet, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that later. I mean, one, one mystery at a time. <laughs> that is funny, though. Okay, we'll, we'll come back for that. We'll come back for that. Uh, this should lead us up to the mountain. Yeah, okay. We do want to go up there. Uh, oh no, or wait, was it over there? Oh, this is looking familiar. Hold up. This is where we got the big fuck-off sword, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, maybe this isn't... Yeah, that was the whole four blowholes and walls thing. That got us to the sword. Oh, okay, this is another shrine thing, right? Because we had that fight in the shrine. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, we're going to continue on up the mountain. Oh, the bard's asleep. Shouldn't we be asleep too? Like, don't crows need rest? Okay, there's all this stuff. Uh, actually, before we head up there, let's go along this other path. There's nothing over there that was important. Ah, right, here's the thing here, which we already did, right? Right, 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 okay. to go through the entire castle, though. I don't think it, it was in the castle at all. Although there might be some other shit in here that we need to get anyways. But for the time being, I don't know that this is where we are required to be. Uh, Alright, I just need to get through the castle. need to deal with any other side shit right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Otherwise, I suppose I could just take one of the doors, right? That might be a faster way to get up and out of here. Alright, let me just go back to the door at the beginning of the castle then. Because I think that'll that'll pop me out at a door right near the Crow Village. I think. Walking is for suckers anyways. Alright, Castle Lockstone, Stranded Sailor, Betty's, we don't need to be at Betty's Lair. Camp of the Free Crows. We'll start here. We'll start here and work backwards. Although, maybe we can see if they know about the tab Tablet of Na Ancient Knowledge, too, right? Simple Joy of TV. Some say it's not good for you to watch it all the time. And allow yourself a reward now and again. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, we can get an upgrade too, right? <clears throat> no longer have access to the Soul Vault, I can still use, use Excess Soul Energy to enhance your combat abilities. Oh, that's nice. Alright, well, a thousand buckos or soul juices into haste, please. Don't know if that made me move faster. Oh, I see! 
Are there seven tablets of ancient knowledge? There are seven tablets of ancient knowledge. Oh, goodness. That's a lot of tablets of ancient knowledge. Well, where the fuck do we find all those? Oof. Seems like a lot of work. I don't know if ancient knowledge is worth that. Wait, what did he say about the air? Extra fresh quality about it. I don't know about that. Alright. Well, I might have to content myself with looking up what those, uh... What those ancient tablets of ancient knowledge lead to. Rather than doing the legwork myself. Uh, okay. So, my memory, as poor as it is, told me that the moon thing was around here somewhere. Uh, does this go... Wait, what? That looks a little suspicious, doesn't it? Oh, yeah! Look at that! Oh, what's in here? A shiny thing. Hey, that's cool. Shiny medallion. You're a real winner! <laughs> well, cool. Alright. So it's already worth coming back here. Uh, this goes up. Okay, good. I did want this to go up. Maybe it was on the path up to the the Yeti's layer thing, right? Old watchtowers. Seems right. Because it is awful dark and spoopy up here. Oh, now I bet we can light this shit up. Yeah, hey. You know, I bet this leads to another ancient tablet, doesn't it? That seems like the thing that it would do. Light up all these things and be like, oh yeah, you, you did it. Here, have an ancient tale. And be like, oh, thanks, I guess. Alright, well, I guess we're up here looking for other shit anyways, so may as well do two things at once. I suppose it's best that we take the long way around just to find all the torches, right? Yeah. looking pretty familiar though that's where we first saw the moon thing so I wouldn't be surprised if that is up here as well Thingamadings. Yep, that looks like the door that led to the other ancient tablet. Alright, well, I guess since we're here and we've already done half of it, we may as well do the other half. Seems the thing to do. There's one down there. ancient knowledge does there have to be to create a whole seven tablets out of it, though? Their storage density is pretty bad. Or there's just that much ancient knowledge. I mean, either way, I guess. I 
at the correct elevation to hit that from here. Ha, ah, nice. I have to tell you where you're you let that get friend. Oh god. <laughs> I'm still kind of chuckling about that. But not because it's funny, but because it's kind of sad. Because I know where that branch is. Like, it's I can literally check it out myself. But whatever. Uh, there's still a couple things alive up there. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see a path. Uh... Oh, wait, that might not be it, anyways. Oh, well, there goes that guy. <laughs> Alright, I have a feeling that there's gonna be one around the corner here. Eh? No? Oh, I think there's just a soul juice thing around this corner. Okay. Well, that's long since retrieved. Well, yeah, still oh. all. <laughs> all right, very good. Maybe we could have done this in the daytime, too. I don't know if that would have affected it. Maybe in the daytime it's still all, like, stormy and shitty. Perhaps we might have uh, gone too far past the area with the torches in it, though. Probably just missed a couple. So I don't think they would have me redo all of the ice physics stuff for this, would they? Ah, there's one. Yeah, I think it's mostly... Oh, that was the last one. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now we can go get more ancient knowledge, I guess. Disc two of seven. made the right call on turning back off the uh, off the ice physics path there. Because that didn't feel quite right. Glad my instinct is still up to snuff in that respect at any rate. Should be just along here, right? Yeah. Okay.
Honk. There we go. Another ancient tablet of knowledge. Oh, it's not a tablet of ancient knowledge. It's an ancient tablet of knowledge. The knowledge could be very modern. It's just on this archaic stone storage device. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've, I've had to install stuff off of multiple floppies, too. Good old DOS 6.22 was on six floppy disks. Installed that many a time. It's a perfectly functional disk operating system. Well, I don't know about perfectly functional, but... It did what it set out to do, I suppose. It's a more accurate bit. Yep, oh, see ya. <laughs> All right, now we will proceed up the mountain. Cause I'm not ready to give up on my theory that the moon thing is up here just yet. Unless it's in the castle itself, which is possible, but I feel like it was around a bunch of stone. And this is still a bunch of stone around here, so. And if that doesn't pan out, well, whatever. We've got other things we could look at. We can go, uh... Uh... Take Jefferson over to the Frog King's domain or whatever that he wanted to go to. This was the big fight zone. I don't know if we wanted to be we wanted to be here or if we wanted to go around the other way. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I think this just goes to Betty's lair, right? Yeah. yeah. This definitely wasn't the moon area. But I guess since we're up here, we can take a look around. Looks like there's a fat lot of nothing. All right. Well, maybe it was along the icy path, then. Go quickly take a look around there. If that doesn't pan out. And we'll rethink our plan. Okay, that might have been the path from the, uh, the icy area, right? So now we just go backwards through it and see what we can see. Oh, maybe not. Because then this leads... Oh, there's the owl. You know what? We're gonna go talk to them. Making all this noise. Maybe it's Barb the Bard's relative or something. Who knows? seen the moon thing I would have expected. So maybe it's not around here. Uh, well, it's too late. We already dropped down there, so I hope this is the correct path. Oh yeah, there we go. Who, who, indeed. Interact. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Soul juice? No, a shiny thing. Hey, alright, I guess that was worth it. Acquired a shard of an ancient- Damn it! <laughs> oh no! Not only is seven ancient tablets not enough, some are also split into shards. Damn it. Um, 
That's not exactly what I was hoping for. So, uh, hmm. <laughs> well, all right. That didn't quite pan out for the moon thing being up here. Just hit up that door real quick and... Maybe go back down to, to Jefferson's place and be like, all right, buddy, you know what, let's go. We got nothing else to do. Let's, uh, let's hop on over to Frog King's area. Oh boy, that would be something, wouldn't it? Alright, biggest secret time. Let's go. Head east to the domain of the late Frog King. Alright, you know what? We're gonna take a shortcut. <laughs> Can't go in there. I'll have to travel in. Don't! Ah, can't even fast travel? Alright. Fine. Wait, can we swim now? Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, we can't even swim with this damn squid on our back. Alright. It's not the fucking long way around. <laughs> Out on an adventure. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're having an adventure and I'm the one being an avian taxi for a cephalopod. Squids are cephalopods, right? Yeah, I think they're cephalopods. Alright, well... Thankfully, I don't think it's that far. I just gotta cross the extent of this map here and essentially go down to the right until morning, right? <laughs> think you saw a ghost. No, don't worry about that. I took care of the seven ghosts around here already. Uh... Yeah, so it is, isn't it? <laughs> Needs a wardrobe change, nice. On account of him just uh, puppeteering around a corpse, right? Although, come to think of it, that implies the existence, or at least the prior existence of humans in this world, right? Because he was uh, using a human corpse. So that's interesting. Who would for thought? Yep. Got ourselves a little fight. There we go. Yep. It's gotta be a thankless ass job right there. <laughs> Romantic gondola. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so we wanted to go to the domain of the Frog King. Alright, here we are, buddy. Where are we headed? Oh. Hey. Was that always here? Is this what he's leading us to? Huh. It's a little different than the all the other previous mimic chests, right? Nope! 
Ah uh, ha ha. Okay, well, what do we got here? Bonk. Alright, what the hell are they gonna give me? Oh, this looks like a hell of a fight. I like it. Oh, oof. This is a cool fight, I like this. Oh, ouch. Alright. It's a, a diverse fight, lots of different enemy types, I like that. So what do we get for our trouble though? We already got all the whoa. We already got all the abilities, presumably. So what the fuck was that all about? Oh, it's an actual ancient tablet. All right, nice. Cool. All right, well, that's neat. Didn't have to go trucking an all-around dodge to to get it. Just had to do a neat little fight. Okay, I can get behind that. Uh. All right, yeah, right. Cause this is the open. Was that? How did we miss that the first time around? Was this just blocked off and we couldn't get? Eh, we probably couldn't get there. All right. Well, whatever. Yeah. Really need some health though. Is there a thing I'm a ding around here? One of the things we planted, perhaps. Oh, there's a shiny thing. Okay, uh, let's redirect temporarily to get that. Uh, looks like we gotta be all the way over there. Alright. this right from here. Oh. Get up. Ah. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I cheesed it a little bit by falling onto that uh, edge rail there. Malformed seed. Doesn't look like a normal seed. It appears quite rotten. Cool. Well, now it's ours. Okay, so now how do we actually get to the Frog King's thing, though? Was it... Like, right in the door here? Just definitely wasn't there. Ah, there's 
some health. Yoink. Uh, I think we might be going into the actual dungeon here. This might not be the, the way. So we went all the way around for a whole bunch of stuff, right? Ouch. I know it was just like a pathway out, right? Oh, maybe this is it? Hey, alright, we accidentally did the right path. Good job. Yeah, because he had blocked that off. Yeah, that looked a little suspicious. Alright, Jefferson, we're here. Now what? <laughs> Almost there. Keep your eye memories open and look for guidance from the moon. From the moon, you say, huh? Okay. Guidance from the moon. Hey, maybe we'll uh, get two things at once here, wouldn't it? Here, we're always closely tied to the moon. The moon's light will guide us towards our destination. Okay. Alright. Well, if you say so, buddy. Uh huh. That's, okay, this is the thing I remember seeing, was this moon thing. Alright. Not... Losing my mind entirely. I don't know why I thought it was up in the mountains, but... At least we got there eventually. Show us their secrets. Here's the this. Let's show us your treasures. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Alright. Oh, another ancient tablet. Neat! Oh, okay, okay see ya! <laughs> Alright, so that's what? Four of them? Foreign change, I guess, because of the shard on that other one. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, not really what I expected, but hey, not bad. Now I'm thinking my theory of the other, the other moon thing was kind of bunk, because that was the, uh... That was the moon thing I remember from earlier. So now, at this point, I just want to go back to the cemetery, probably. Oh, hey. What's that one? So the first door we come across, we'll zoom back there. I have a feeling there's probably a moonlit something or other right near where Steadhone was. That we either overlooked or were busy looking at other things. 
what we missed. Oh, and there's a soldier's thing too. Um, can I get over there somehow? Oh, well, I probably could have if I weren't such an idiot. Oh, and another soldier's thing there. Huh. Uh. Um, okay, how do I get up there? Here's the original moon. Oh, I see. One of those things, but, uh... <laughs> how does one get all the way there? Okay, uh, well, we've got a, a mystery that's taking precedence here. Gotta find out of the little sewer grate things. Which means getting up to an elevation where we can pop through whatever the second one is. Perhaps over there somewhere. Aha! Perhaps this thing here, huh? Up, up, up. All right. One soul juice. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two soul juices. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right. That mystery's been solved. Um, now we can get out of here. I think. There's a door right in, either right inside or right outside where we uh, came out of this temple area. Uh, I hope, I think. Oh, well, <laughs> watch that first step. Uh, yeah, let's turn it up a little further. I figured there would have been one pretty close by. Yeah. I can see their way. Let's go to the dun entrance of this dungeon here. There'll be one there. Although, if this wasn't the entrance, we need to go in and then out again. Uh. Should hold up a second. Dang, that would have been a good place for secrety secret. Although I think the um, frog idiot stuck his head out here once. That's why that looks familiar. That's right, that led to one of the keys. Well, let's see. We've got two and change ancient tablets, right? Um, uh, 
And I guess just checking out the whole buried under moonlight thing, I guess. It's getting kind of late the way it is, so we'll see if we can solve one more mystery, then we'll call it a night. Uh, uh, Terry. Alright, we will start our search near where Steadhone is. And then kind of expand out from there. time. Remember what this was? Ah, just a shrine. Okay. Probably one of the first ones we found, actually. So we were still trying to get a handle on what kind of secrety secrets were going to be around here. The ancient knowledge thing, right? Weird, creepy, lockhead, door lord thing statues. Tower thing that we solved already. It's a little offshoot area. will eventually play out to the frog area, right? Yep, so that goes down there. A whole lot of gravestones around here otherwise, right? None of which seem to stand out too terribly much. It's not like the moonlight is particularly bright in any area either. Mm. Alright, let's go closer to where he was. Might shed some light on things. Dead home himself. I'm guessing they wouldn't make me go too terribly far away from here. Maybe there's something I'm not understanding about his hint. Something, something buried under moonlight, right? He didn't say anything much here. He's just like, oh, well, I wonder what it's like to be dead. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Lost a dear friend long ago and buried him under the moon's light. What does that mean? Hmm. He 
Is it more literal, perhaps? I think the only literal moon we've seen is the one reflected in the water near the squid soul thing. And that uh, moon tile that we saw on the way there. Light. I just looked it up. Good luck. Oh no. Is it something so unreasonably obtuse that there's no way we would figure it out? Then again, we've figured out a few obtuse things in our day, haven't we? So I'm not ready to give it up just yet. But I don't think we'll be wandering around for too much longer here. At the very least, we'll call it a night, and I'll noodle on it a bit. And even though we won't come back to this on stream, I don't think, I'll at least have a, have a good solid think about it. And then eventually look it up. <laughs> Uh, under the moon's light. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This goes back up the mountain, right? We don't quite want to do that. I mean, eventually I probably want to go back up there anyways, because we got enough soul... Well, do we have enough soul juice for an upgrade? No, I think we need a thousand. Look at that collection of shiny things, though. We're only missing five of them. That's pretty good. I wonder where those are now, since, uh... The Hall of Doors is all fucked up. I wonder what happened to our desk. Bop bonk. Fifty souls. Fifty soldiers. Uh, when he finally leaves the cool stuff. Well, hmm, okay. Is it in this area? This lost cemetery area here? I guess we'll start with that. Because if it's not, I'm just kind of wandering around for no good reason. No, it isn't. Oh, okay. Hmm. I wonder where else it could be, then. Well, let me pop back to the Hall of Doors, and we'll see what, uh... where those other places lead, I guess. And we'll see if something jogs our memory. See if anything pertains to moon and or light. Mm -hmm. This wall looks unadorned. Nothing. Okay. Right, I was thinking that there should have been something behind this waterfall or whatever, but there isn't. Oh, right, because it was that thing there. Yeah, yeah. There was a thing over... Right, because there was a path back there for that, right? We found a shiny thing over here. Oh, jeez. Uh, closer. Ow! Ow! Hey! Bitch. 
Oh. <laughs> Very good then. Or is this gonna pop me back out though? Oh, just right here. All right. Well, I'm gonna go fuck him up just by way of vengeance, right? And 50 soul juices. There's also seven shrines we haven't found either, which seems a bit odd. Because it seemed to require quite a bit of, like, actual world space to be in. I can't imagine we missed that many large areas. But I guess we did. Oh well. Uh, alright, let's check the doors. Real quick look. Like. Betty's Lair. Castle Lockstone, quite possibly. Camp of the Free Crows, maybe. We'll head back there soon anyways. Old Watchtowers, probably not. Uh, this just leads down to... Alright, oh, the long books. Does these say anything different? No, it's all like mid-game lore. That didn't make really a whole heck of a lot of sense. Dungeon, this is all the Frog King stuff, right? Throne of the Frog King, Overgrown Ruins, Slotted Fortress. You know what? Let's, uh, let's head back here real quick. Not that I think it's back here, but I'm just curious what this looks like now. Uh, yeah, just a big old fight arena. With nothing. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. It's all lit up to daytime anyways. Hmm. Oh, well, it's just outside though. It's that big mention by the squid of by Jefferson of Oh moonlight is souls and shit, right? Uh, oh, okay. uh, so we got a spare seed in our pocket. Yeah, let's just be a, one giant backtrack here. I don't want to bother with that right now. Alright, so how about we check the names of the other doors and then probably head back to the Free Crow Village. Uh, we're 50 shy of one more upgrade, unfortunately. And then we'll just take stock of what we got and probably hang it up. Ruins, Fortress, Mushroom Dungeon. The big ass furnace of souls that nobody saw fit to clean out, apparently. Oh, actually there is one more area I want to check before we before we go here. That would make a bit of sense. Uh not the Lost Cemetery, the Sacred Grove, whatever's, right? Grove of Spirits. Although I don't necessarily think Steadhone would have been able to get into here, right? But I guess it's a small enough area that we can take a... Take a poke around and see what we can see, and also try to get the uh, conga line achievements. So there's one, two... Yeah, those two are gonna come with me now. Oh. Three. Four.
five, six, jeez, came out of the woodwork there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know we had gotten nine before. I don't remember from where. Because this is where it kind of ends up, right? Yeah, I've only got eight this time. I wonder where the ninth one was from. And this doesn't look like the, the moonlight thing anyways. One, two, three, four, five, two, four. <laughs> Adorable. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Two, four. Six. My eyes playing tricks on me? How many is that? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we picked up a ninth somewhere. Weird. All right, well, we just need one more. Somebody call one of their friends. We need, we need a tenth. I figured, if, of all the places, this would be the place to have these guys, right? No, oh, stop. Stop getting left behind, you idiot. Come on, let's go. We're probably not going to get this. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to quickly check this area out anyways. Figured we wouldn't be able to get all ten of them. This probably just heads back in here. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Kind of was a bust. Alright, so that's no good. What else we got? Iron Witch's Laboratory, Eric Manor, Inner Furnace, State. Well, that all seems pretty standard. Alright, so maybe not. None of those kind of drog me in such a way as to, to think, hey, shit buried under moonlight here. Alright, no biggie. Let's just head back to uh, Crow Village and then take stock and be on our way. Oh! <laughs> Missed the stairway a little bit. Also find where they've been putting my shiny things. I no longer have a desk. Where's the stuff I've been collecting? They'll always have a home here. Bullshit. Where's all my stuff? Yeah, I got four of the seven, plus a shard of one of them, right? Yeah, it doesn't tell me about the shard, but hey, not bad, considering we didn't even know they existed until late tonight. But where's all my shit? Where's all my shiny stuff? Hmm. That's a bummer. Well, no matter. Just as well. I think we'll call it a night. Pretty good, though. We beat the game. We did some extra stuff. We had a good time. That's about the best you can ask for sometimes. Well, all right. Well, there's our desk with all our shiny shit <laughs> on the title screen. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. CST. Fish Book Club. So, uh, Pro Gear or Strike Gunner STG or G Darius, one of those three. Uh, this weekend's gonna be a bit sparse since Saturday is technically the holiday. Um, so nothing on Friday, nothing on Saturday. Sunday, we'll see. I may just take that day off as well, just to get a little bit of R&R. &R. Um, then starting next Monday, 
Hmm, although next week is gonna be a bit, yeah, next week is gonna be a bit stodgy as well. Um, I think next week we will play it by ear. I'm not gonna set up any sort of schedule or anything, I'll just kind of pop in and out as the, as the mood strikes, methinks. And that'll probably carry us through the end of the year. Um, but for sure, January 1st, uh, 2022, it's a Saturday, uh, there will definitely be something early afternoon then. Just gonna put that out there right away. Uh, not gonna say exactly what it is just yet, but I'm excited for it. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.